Communication device is knocked out. We can hardly see anything. We just need to penetrate their armor. Ammo rack hit. We're it. We done for. Everyone, get out.
So guys, I hope you like the little montage video in the front of the game. I put a lot of time into it, so please consider rating this video down below. As you can see guys, I have gotten my first tier 10 tank in the game, the FE215B. And I have to say, I absolutely love this tank. But guys, let's first talk about the Conqueror. Because the Conqueror was also one of my favorite tanks in the game. It had, it had that monster gun. It's the same gun which is mounted on the tier 10 tank because it's a tier 10 gun. But the armor on this tank is much better than the armor on the Conqueror. And that's why I like this tank so much. Because you can really rely on your armor sometimes when needed. That's hopefully I'm what I'm going to showcase in this replay. No shot on the E50 there, but does not matter. The Conqueror had some really weak armor, guys, and it's never something to rely on because the Conqueror was extremely good. But it had to be backup fire, by my opinion. You can play aggressively. You can play aggressively, but don't expect to win the game by playing exp um, very, very aggressively. You won't achieve anything. And as you can see, I'm deciding here to fall back because those guys are keeping up really well. But guys, never rely on the armor of the Conqueror. And as you can hear, I'm not that guy that makes a lot of tank reviews because I cannot explain how tanks work and all that stuff. I'm not really good at it. So I like making montage videos because they're a lot more fun to watch. And I like to showcase you guys what I can do on the battlefield so that's why I always show some replays as you those montage video had a lot of Conqueror support the Conqueror was absolutely one of my yeah it used to be my favorite tank in the game it used to be but I first want to rebuy the Black Prince and see how that plays now that one plays more funny than the Conqueror then I think the Conqueror will be still my favorite tank in the game. As you can see I am side scraping because this tier 10 has the turret mounted on the back of the tank. Which means that the play in this tank will be totally different. Because you cannot go forward using your hull to the front because your lower plate will be shown. To the enemy vehicles and they can easily pen your lower plate so as you could see you always have to turn around your tank with your hull towards the enemies because they have a lot harder shot to pen you on the back than on the front because there's less of your armor uh, to show to enemy vehicles so you can see that wasn't really a very good angle because this tank only has 100 millimeters of armor on the side, so side scraping is possible, but you have to angle correctly. If you don't angle correctly in this tank, you won't achieve anything by side scraping. As you can see, that was a really, really bad angle. The Ice 3 penned me through my track. The E100. See, there we go. That was the baddest angle I chose for this tank, as you can see. The angle wasn't good at all. You could easily pen me, but now it's going well because I now find out in this game how I need to angle this tank. And the E100 is only gonna pen me one more time, so let's see how this works out. This IS-3 is telling me to fall back, but falling back makes no sense, guys. Falling back in this kind of situation makes no sense. And there goes the Death Star, he wasn't even angling his armor he wasn't really thinking about what was going to happen that was what was happening around him so he got taken out of course There's the 100. and then using see he bounced now because I've angled my tank correctly oh and I choose to kill that guy because he had a good angle of my tank so I killed him first that's one gun less shooting at me only one eyes we left but I didn't have a shot on the E100 so I decided to try the IS-3 but he got taken out first by the other IS-3 behind me 
So now there's only one E100 left. He's all shooting up the ice 3 and this, this is one of the first times that the E100 pens the ice 3 And I'm hoping for the E100 to get out of that. There we go, but he manages to get down. Pens me through my track and reverses. So guys, now I have to be really careful. We fix the track. Get going. I need three more shots to kill him. So I've got to be careful. So he comes out again. I angle my armor. And he bounces off my upper plate. And I thought the game was over there for me. But I angled my armor correctly. So wasn't over yet. And now the E100 is stuck. It's over for him now. Because my great rate of fire. And in my opinion, that E100 was not playing very smart. He had to side scrape around that corner. If he had side scraped around that corner, I could have never penetrated the E100. So guys, I hope you liked this video. My first tier 10 tank. I love it guys. I absolutely love this tank. And hopefully, I'll see you next time.